Welcome friends, V Rising and his amazing multiplayer Diablo S kind of survival crafting base building game that has come into early access and published by Stunlock. One of the great things about it is that there are server options for playing with your friends and having persistent servers that are running 24 7. I'm going to show you how to get that set up with Ping Perfect, which is really my preferred hosting provider that I've been using for years with seven days to die, ARG, Valheim, Scum, Subsistence. I'm running like six, seven servers right now of different games. And that includes V Rising, which is my latest favorite game. I will be leaving links in the description, which has my affiliate link that you can use if you want to, but you also can get a 10% monthly discount code that will save you some money every month that you're running this server now this video is not a sponsored server by ping perfect yes i do partner with them they actually sponsor uh, some seven days that i service that i have but i'm not being paid for this uh, this video i'm doing it because i love the game and i love showing people how to run their own server so you go to the link that i provide below and it takes you to the rising server rental and if you're not 100% sure you can actually request a 48 hour trial and go ahead by that and if you like it continue if not you just stop but if you do want to go ahead with it then you can choose from you know whichever currency you want to have and I'm going to go down here few of the really good benefits that I have is that instant server setup there's global locations there's a bunch of them we're going to go through that quickly as well money back don't like it get your money back great customer support they normally respond really really quickly if you want some web hosting you get a free one coming with a server as well game panel they do backups so you can do backups of your game of course ftp game switching enterprise hardware free debranding ddos protection and of course a little bit about the game control panels that they have so we're going to select here the usd because that's what most people are using and that takes you to the basics. Now, they default to 1756, but we can change that. If you're paying, let's say, quarterly, you will get a 5% discount. If you do annually, you'll get a 15% discount. This is in addition to the 10% monthly discount you will get for using my code. We're going to select just monthly just for the ease of it. And let's see all the different locations here. So we're going to change one. Let's do US uh, Chicago, for instance. And you can choose where you want to have the faster NVMe. I'm going to actually take that off because it will be on SSD anyway. Game slots, if you want to have, this is concurrent players, not max players. This is the concurrent players. If you want to have 10 concurrent, which is pretty standard, it'll cost you 12 16 Now you can also select the branding by Ping Perfect. It'll say that in the server and that'll save you a little bit of money. You take it off, you'll have to pay for it. Otherwise, it'll take off about 68 cents every month. So it does add up every year. If you want to have higher priority, you can do that as well. Normally, I recommend you start with normal priority because it's generally good enough. Same thing with the support level. Normal support is generally enough for pretty much any game. Memory quota, use the basic one. It's unlikely you're going to need more. So just select that one. And now we're down to 1148 for server that you can play with up to 10 friends at the same time now you can have 100 friends as long as everyone is not online at the same time you go down here and you have to select what's going to, what's the name going to be of the host we're going to do vedite tests uh test and then we hit continue we're now on the review and checkout page and make sure you double check your location and the branding and how big a size you want to have how many game slots and when you're happy with it then basically go to the promo code of course, you want to use Vedui. So type in Vedui, you'll get a 10% recurring discount, which you will see reflected here. So we're not paying 1148 USD, we're paying 1033. Awesome, isn't it? So make sure you use my link and the discount code, and then you hit checkout. As you hit checkout, you end up in this page and you'll be able to uh, fill out and create a new account. Now I have an account, obviously, because I'm doing this. And because this is just a test setup, uh, I, there's no cost for me to when I'm doing the video, but otherwise they will be have the previous whatever charges you have selected, depending on your location and the features that you have selected and the sizing of it. It'll tell you how much you have to pay and then you can pay with, you know, credit card, PayPal, etc., etc., even Bitcoin. I didn't realize that. And then you put fill out your information, agree to the terms of service, which I'm going to do here and complete the order. You get the order confirmation. It'll tell you the order, which is useful if you need to contact. They will also be sending you some confirmation emails, and I will show that in a while. What's basically happening at this point is that they 
system is setting up your server in the background and initializing everything, spinning it, spinning it up, and then providing you with the information of how you log in there. And you'll see I have my game server here, and this is not correct not completed on their side normally you have to wait for the emails it really depends on the service that you're normally setting up what i find when i'm setting up new game servers within a few minutes you will get the completion email telling you that you can log in and you can configure everything and start up and start playing so it literally takes probably less than 10 minutes to set up a new server if you know how to do it from scratch be on the lookout for two emails. There will be one invoice payment confirmation, which will tell you specifically what you have ordered and your payment details. And there will be a second one, which basically confirms the order and telling you that it's being currently installing and they will send you further emails upon the completion. And do not log in until you've gotten the email saying that it's completed. And that will take probably a few minutes. And roughly four minutes have passed here. I was just checking my email and it tells me, actually I get two emails, one that has the login credentials, the password that you need to log in. And another one that tells you that the server has been created. It'll tell you the IP, the ports, the slots and everything, and tell you to go here to log in here to actually access the, uh, the game server, the username, the password will be in the previous email. So you will be getting multiple of them. So make sure you check your email and make sure it's not in the spam. I've never had them in spam, but practically it could be happening because it will tell you basically what you need to type in in order to access it. If you are still logged in here on the Ping Perfect client area, you can actually also go, let's see, we go to portal home. You can click your way onwards from here as well. By going up to here, you go to services, my services. It'll list the ones that you have. And here's some other service that I actually have set up and shown the how to make it. You click on the V rising here and it will show that it's currently active. And this is where if you want to cancel it or you want to change the different options, if you want to upgrade it or downgrade, let's say you want to have it on uh, change to the NVMe, you can do that here. If you want to have more game slots, you can do that as well. Very, very convenient. We're going to go to the control panel. I'm going to click on log into control panel here. And when we log into the control control panel, we'll end up here. We're going to select game services. If you have multiple, you'll get a listing of them. But this is server. The first thing I always do is I stop it because it has started the game, but it, with whatever default configurations that are there. And obviously, that's not necessarily what you want to have. Depending on which game server you're selecting, whether Seven Days to Die or Arc or in this case V Rising, there might be more options or less options because some games have more accessibilities. You have the configuration files, really important. That's how you configure it. File manager, we're going to go into that in a moment. Updating the server from Steve. This is important, of course. If the game has an update, you do need to update the server as well in order to log in. Web console, current status, and etc. If you want to do some banning, Backup world is really important. Strong is also really important. I'll go through that in really shortly. But the first thing we want to go is to configuration files. Main one here, configuration editor. Let's click on it. It'll pop up a few different. It'll say what the server name is. Again, this is the sponsor. So make sure you leave it by pinkperfect.com because it is being sponsored at those 68 US cents. Uh, you can change that obviously how many admins your sir the save name this basically if you change that it'll use a different save you probably want to have a server password uh, that's really up to you and you can select what kind of game you are playing are you doing standard pv are you doing pvp easy hard etc i'm going to do a standard pv in this case and when you want to list it on the server browser etc so you know you can probably just leave it default and i'm going to do bed test one like this and i'm going to save it and then i'm going to go back because i forgot to actually put a password so let's put bed we as the test here and save it again there's also a gameplay configuration file and keep in mind though in order for that one to be active in the configuration editor you have to choose none if you want to otherwise it'll just be the standard pv if you do want to change it to something else meaning non-standard you have to choose none and then that file will be active that file has a lot of configurations that you might want to tweak as you get into the game and understand how it works because you have to figure out the different what's the game type what all these ones actually imply and how they work 
If you're familiar with the game and you've started a, a, just a local server in the game, you know that there's a bunch of different options and these ones basically reflect that. Now, they are generally pretty self-explanatory, but there could be some that actually are not. For instance, inventory stacks modifier, I'm assuming that if you double it, you basically double anything that it in stack. So instead of having 500 stone in one stack, it'll allow you to have thousand stone for instance there will be some that potentially will be a bit harder but clan size very easy to see if you set 10 you'll have 10 people in a clan as opposed to having just four but if you're not sure about it then just do the standard settings like standard pve until you get into it because then you can subsequently change things around even after you started it we're going to go to the admin list and this is basically just a text file with admins. What you want to do is you want to find your Steam 64 ID, the decimal, which looks something like this. This is mine, which enables you to put yourself as an admin in your game. And you can go to, go to sites such as Steam ID Finder, just do a Google lookup and find the site. And you type in your, your actual Steam name and it'll generally give you that information and you put it in here. So this is how I make myself an admin, simple enough. If you want to ban something, same thing, you can put in, I believe their Steam ID as well, and you can ban them. A better way generally is just make sure that you have a password on it. So I'm going to double check what I have and I think I'm pretty much good. We're going to know we're going to do standard PV. We're not going to do anything else. And yes, vid server, vet test one. We're good. Save it. Next thing, let's do a quick dive into the file manager. And this will give the information of everything, all the things that you have here. Normally you don't need to go in here, but it could potentially if they or if or when they start supporting mods and everything, you'll be probably using the file manager to access that. But normally you don't need to do that. Updating, as I said, if there is an update, you do have to select that one and banning. Backup world and configs is really important. Make sure you do backups now and then on these servers. You can do that manually. Hit backup and it will run a backup. If you want to restore it, you do restore. Another way to do that, what I normally do, uh, I go to schedule task, do new and do a scheduled, not this one, but backup and do a new. And for instance, uh, one time we're going to do it weekly and we're going to say Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at well, 10 30 a.m this fine you can select it i'm gonna do a five daily backup and it'll basically run a backup it'll bring the game down just save the whole world and stuff it in a in a repository so that if something goes wrong there is you know some corruption or whatever you can basically just revert back to it and now you're done now so we're pretty much done here so i'm going to start it up and it'll take a, a minute or two for the server to come up and we're gonna go in and connect to it. All right, I'm now here in the game and it's a little bit awkward to log into an online host uh, server, but select that online play, PVE. We're gonna do find servers. We're gonna display all server information. Then we're gonna go to direct connect. That's what we want. You wanna have the IP and port. And if we go back to your server hoster, you'll see the connection info is this, which is the IP and then the port of 40,001. We're gonna paste that in here. It doesn't allow us to check it for some reason, but we can connect and it will say that it's connecting and then it's going to be asking for a password which is vidui and it'll connect it'll load up and we end up into the game i'm ready and i'm here i've just woken up don't i just look so cool actually look pretty good and now i'm playing on the server i'm not playing single player this is hosted by pimperfect.com. Enjoy, and you can invite your friends to play with you. You can clan up or just have different clans and everything. It's a really, oh, no map there available. Fine, all right. Really easy and good way to have a server that is running 24 seven, where you can play with your friends and where you are not playing, well, your friends can still play even if you're offline. So go give it a try. Make sure you use my link in my discount code because those 10% really do help. If you're not 100% sure, just try a 48 hour trial and then continue or discontinue depending on your experience. But I think that you will enjoy it. I definitely love playing this with friends. And the problem that I was having where my recent streams is that I start up my stream, I have a local hosted, but when I log out, of course, no one can play. So they can't grind, they can't get resources and stuff like that to help us and our clan. Uh, and so I needed a server myself and I'm actually setting up a vision rising server for my community as well, for supporters. Pink Perfect is a great way to do that. Catch you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. 
If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.